Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome to Terminator Dark Fate Defiance, a RTS that has no business being as good as it actually is. Now, this is a sponsored video, Slytherin, thank you so much for supporting the channel. I appreciate it. Uh, I got a free key for this one, and I it's a movie tie-in game, right? You, you come in with certain expectations, and I was very pleasantly surprised. We streamed this all day yesterday over on Twitch. Let's get into the campaign and talk about what this has to offer. So campaign, we're gonna load a current game. Uh, there was a demo of this out for a bit. Uh, now the game is officially released as of today. Uh, let's go ahead and load game. We'll go into our mission prep for our big move south. So what is it? Well, it's a real-time RTS where you are playing as one of the resistance factions known as the founders, or at least what remains of them. They used to be the US military. It's been about 20 years since Judgment Day and we've been forced to fall back from our main base where i'm at in the campaign right now we're about three i think this is mission four technically if you count the tutorial mission at the very beginning uh and where the game starts to open up we have the meta map we can look around the map here we're looking at colorado right now actually no we're looking at new mexico right now colorado's up north there's colorado springs there's denver up there all the way up to fort collins if we start scrolling down we can get into uh el paso so we get new mexico even down into texas Right, there's Houston all the way over here. So what we're simulating right now is our our force, surviving members of our unit plus another faction, and there's a few of them called the Movement. We've kind of combined, I've, I've recruited some of their people, and we've we've managed to pull out of Arbecue, and we're heading to the Movement support base. Actually, we've already arrived here. Uh, in the top right-hand corner, we've got our supplies, we've got our manpower, and we've got our goodwill with the factions that we can we can use as like a resource to trade. Let's go into the support base where we're located right now. We can see our army. So here's the part that I love about this game so far, and it reminds me of my favorite RTS ever, Homeworld. You keep your army between missions, and whatever you loot in a mission, you get to take with you, which is pretty cool, like this Abrams tank, which I've recently repaired. Uh, there, It simulates they didn't have to go this hard. They simulate fuel levels, spare parts, and ammunition. Ammunition per weapon. In the last mission, the first time I ran through the first three missions, I did really poorly. And my my force capability was like three vehicles, right? And it was like a couple of, of, of flatbed trucks with 50 cows on the back, a single Humvee, and like three squads to drive them. Now, after I'd gone back and I, and, I, and I tried a bit harder and I understood the mechanics a bit better, I managed to salvage an Abrams tank, a Bradley. It actually has passenger levels, like how many people can fit in all these vehicles. Obviously, the tank can only fit the tank crew, which you have to have special training for to use. There's RPG mechanics, whereas you level up with units that survive, you get to start picking uh, perks. So this is like our infantry squad. We can see their weapon systems. We can see what they have one perk unlocked, right? This is Barracuda 1. Let's click the infantry squad and now I can choose. Do I want them to be able to use smoke screens? Do I want them to be able to equip rockets? Uh, do I want them to have a little extra armor, right? A little extra physical exertion now. Your fighters can carry even more ammunition with them. I'm thinking uh, extra armor. It's a little, exp it's 300 uh, of their experience. Hmm. Let's do that. And now I know Barracuda 1's got extra armor to use when they're like breaching buildings and stuff. And we can also give them survivalists, which means they're either cheaper to maintain per day when you move, time passes. Uh, don't worry, we're gonna get into an actual um, battle just shortly. Uh, I kinda wanna give you guys smoke screens. We'll give Barracuda 1 the smoke screen ability and then we'll resupply them because smoke screen is an ammunition type. Oh, some of the things we've got in here, speaking of like logistics, uh, in the last mission, I decided to loot one of the supply trailers which carries ammo into the battle for us so we can resupply uh, during the fight, which if I'd resupply now, it'll eat 1,300 of our resources. So we got five days left of traveling before we're out. And that's because of how big my, my force is. When I was a much smaller unit, we could have lasted a lot farther, a lot longer, and gone a lot farther. Uh, we are in the store right now, though. We could pick up some upgrades. Like, for instance, we could give the Big Mac, uh, who is being driven by... Oh, it's being, being driven by Mac. Uh, a a gun mount slot for a 50 cal. Let's do it. Now there's a 50 cal on top of it. We'll go ahead and resupply it as well. So we can cover it itself. If any of the Terminators arrive. We are fighting um, 
They call them Legion. I guess there was like a lore change, but it's it's, it's Skynet. We all know it's Skynet. Uh, we should probably also upgrade our, before we get into this fight, uh, we should probably upgrade some of these old AR-15s. Not super useful for our needs. We want to go for military grade. We want to go full auto. So let's, let's see. If we put our mouse over any of the upgrades, we can see what can take them. Uh, what are you rocking right now? Assault rifle slot. Oh, you you don't even... Oh, yeah, AR-15. So let's swap that out for M4s. Accept. Wonderful. And then there should be another unit. They've only got two sets of these assault rifles. So uh, you're an M4. You're... Yeah, you're an AR. So let's give you this. Accept. Ooh, we could give somebody a 40 millimeter grenade launcher instead of the Gatling, instead of the minigun. I feel like the minigun would burn ammo so quickly it wouldn't really be that valuable. Uh, Pastor is a character that we... Oh, I can rename them? Okay, we might need to do a campaign in this. Let's give you an upgrade as well. Uh, bullet Rain. When 10 bullets hit you in 10 seconds, it's unpleasant. When 11 bullets hit you in 10 seconds, it's even worse. Uh, we get a 10% faster fire rate. Let's do that. Uh, I kind of actually would rather put, put, the, put the thumper on top of the Humvee resupply except all right I think we're good to go we can hire units that are already here like light platforms where there are towing mechanics you can tow them around uh we can bring on new units with their they're the specific to the faction we're dealing with right now uh what I am gonna do though is we're gonna repair our ground vehicles we're gonna resupply their weapon systems uh you're fine your ammo supply your fuel level is a little low even though I looted fuel in the last fight. Uh, and we could do, if we wanted to, all of this. What I really want to do is just get everybody ammunitioned up. Uh, fuel, I think we're okay on. All right. So, and then supplies. You can trade for supplies, which will actually take a extra... Uh, well, I want to keep it at seven days. Let's do seven days worth of supplies, which it says right there. Confirm. Cool. We're ready to move out. So, let's go back. Let's hot on down south. Everything is voice acted in this. Uh, they will give you the story as hey, we go. Are you guys leaving? Our mission takes us south. Here's our lieutenant. Good That's luck. Who we're playing it's as. It's pretty hot down there, but we'll alert our people that you're coming, so you'll have friendlies on the way. Santa Fe. Nice place out here, before all this shit happened. And now? Nothing there but ruins and radiation. Unless you want a serious fallout sometime, we gotta take the long we're way around. the long route. Bypass it on Route 599 to get to Highway 25. You those founders guys we were told to look out for? That's us. You militia people got calm, secure enough to pass along the word about us? Sure do. All our radio traffic's encrypted, and we change the codes all the time. Because the bots are looking for us. a bunch of civilians playing at being a real military force, Sergeant? We've seen the movement in action. We this know is... how committed you are. We're on our way to Albuquerque. Not on this road, you ain't. We just trashed all the bridges on it. Denying it to the wires. Right. Machines use it to connect with their garrison in Albuquerque. But now their convoys are gonna have to go another way. So how do we get to Albuquerque? Route 14. We got people on it south of here ready to stop the machines using it too. Thanks. Well, watch out for your people. So, interesting point of fact. When I was in Abiquiu, there were multiple factions there and I had a choice to not help the movement, right? I could have just left. But instead, I decided to take on the people who were willing to fight because the movement was pulling out of Abiquiu. There was too many uh, wire heads there, but I decided to help meaning I ended up fighting them head on and I won it with some casualties. And so the movement likes us. I don't know what would happen if we didn't manage to do that. We could have also, I think, sided with one of the criminal factions there and that may change how our game would have started. It's like a weird questing system where there are lots of sub objectives pop up. Like we even have stuff right here we could do and you'll see it when we get out on the mission to Albuquerque. Uh, we'll keep heading in where I could have gone to Teos and talked with the interrogators, which are like tech head. Um, cyberpunk style kind of guys. On the road ahead. Uh -oh. I see it. T Force, get ready for combat. All right, we got our first contact heading down to Abiquiu. We actually got off the road and using the main like uh, supply line that they're using to get into Albuquerque. So our mission here is going to be stop the uh, Cyberdyne uh, convoys that are reinforcing the wireheads down in the south. The movement's trying to uproot them and push them out of here. And they don't know who we are. Our main base has been destroyed and we had to pull out. Our units, like the crew that we have, a lot of those members, particularly our tank crews, because they're trained in how to drive tanks, uh, are survivors from 
going far back is the one mission after the tutorial so it matters when you're learning the game it matters to keep your people alive that will affect your later your later campaign which is awesome i love it i actually went back and started all over just because of that we couldn't hold our positions there were too many of them we all have our duty alpha one otherwise we all fail now you've left our flank exposed and put the whole op in danger they came at us out of nowhere we're still here though retreated to a new position at the buildings east of the road not good enough alpha one We've lost control of that road. Advance and retake your original position. Movement forces. This is Lieutenant Alex Church, commander of T-Force. Good to make contact with you. We were told this was a secure route by your people in Santa Fe. T-Force? No such movement unit. Identify yourself. We're not with the militia. We're... Hey, I know these guys. They must be the finders. Not founders, buddy. Commander not finders, but all right, whatever. Close they enough. really kicked the machine's ass. <laughs> Close <laughs> enough. Got that last part right, at least. Finders? All right, we heard about you guys. See this? This is why we don't work with civilians. You want to kick more machine ass? Which is funny, because right in place. every mission I've done, right I think right I've worked with civilians, and we started right with our leader being a civilian cop. The battle happening at Albuquerque. <laughs> we need to stop that happening. Copy that movement. Alpha One, I need you back at that road now. We got a convoy of machine reinforcements incoming. On their way to Albuquerque. You want us to retake a position we already got kicked out of? We could take that position and stop that convoy. Especially if it's the only way to get through to Albuquerque. Get ready, T-Force. We're gonna see action. These civilian militia got good. So, the audio work is pretty good. I can hit spacebar real fast and pause it anytime I want to. WAS and D to move the camera around. Middle mouse push, uh, put middle mouse push down to zoom and, and, and go 360. So you can really like zoom down here. We can see our Bradley and every mission. You can see how cool, like, I built up this convoy from the last mission. I took a lot of time uh, making sure everybody had a vehicle. We salvaged and repaired what we could. That's why we've got a couple of like old school, like just vans. Because when I click them, uh, you can see who's inside. So there's the crew driving, and then there's there are seven out of 10 passenger seats, and that is our, our full squad in here, which is, hey, there's Barracuda 1. There's the guys that we gave the M4s to, uh, and I hopefully can got them. Yeah, I got them some armor as well. Uh, and then we've got some of our, uh, our movement guys that decided to sign on with us with the founders our militia all right and then there's parker uh who's driving the abrams right now ah. ready to roll. right so lieutenant cal darren or ak mother one is driving our most important piece of equipment our abrams with our our 120 millimeter anti uh, anti-armor weapon weapon system so our job we're gonna stop Oops. But they ain't gonna last long Come against these wires uh stop them from bringing reinforcements into albuquerque and it sounds like movement enforcement have already been pushed out. Now, terrain matters. You need line of sight so you can see. So you're going to be zooming in to see kind of where the terrain's at. Uh, our mission objective is just support Alpha 1 on the highway, on the road here. So we're just going to roll up to the south. Alpha 1 is this force right here, actually. See them moving. As the campaign continues, we're going to see the two. AI doing all kinds of stuff, right? They're going to reposition. They're going to support us. If we do sub objectives, we'll get support from the various AI, and I like that. There's a lot of moving pieces for the for every mission that I've played so far, in a very like impressive kind of way. Uh, all right, so we've got contact we'll in the north. The road, but need support. Uh, they are actually coming in right now. Can we see what they are? Support. We do not see them. We do have air support coming in. All right. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, you're not ours, so we don't Hold want you to go first. Here. I'm beginning my attack run. Let's move our armor up. When we get there. I mean, if, they're, if their air support can handle this on their own, I'm totally fine with that. Let's get our logistic vehicles out of the way. Uh, so we're going to need both of our pickup trucks, our semi-trucks. Moving. Uh, if anybody's carrying any infantry. Come on, guys. There you go. I don't want you near the front at all. Abrams, take point. There's our air support. And if we lose Zoom around, there he is. <laughs> How great is that? You're expecting, like, you know, I have an Abrams. They've got air support, and then it's this, like a, like a really angry crop duster. And I know, I know, the U.S. military uses birds just like that. I can't remember the name of the damn hey, thing. Good work, Vulture. All right, let's table. set up. Glad you're here, Vulture. Bet the machine. Vulture's got some work done. Air force. Air to close, get up. They got anti-air. What's happening, Vulture? I'm hit. I'm going down. Mouse, Vulture is down. The machines have anti-air units. Let's zoom it's around the map a little bit. We're taking fire. Move back, move back, move back. Okay, we got a chassis damage on one of our vehicles. So you're hearing a little bit of briefing. It looks like the pilot got shot down. 
Um, I wanted to check out these buildings real quick. What I really wanted to do is set this turret up. Uh, but our poor technical uh, just took a hit. Actually, it was the turret behind it that took the hit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to order him to drop. Did you already drop it? I think you already dropped it. Yeah, go ahead and get out of there. Since we've got eyes on what's going on over here. Get wrecked. Let's move our units. So our orders are to hold the road. We're going to push yes, across and support our friendlies. They're already moving across the road as well. Use pause a lot. There's going to be so much going on. Especially with sub objectives and how quickly units can die. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm just clicking both of our of our vehicles um, and getting all of our infantry out and moving across the road. Uh, except not all of them though. Let's take um, let's take Shepard. Oh, Shepard, you're using a grenade launcher, aren't you? All right, Shepard, you're gonna you're gonna move up here and support the push with that grenade launcher. We've also got a grenade launcher on the back of the Humvee now, uh, which I'll just have you roll up. All right, orders have been given. Let's get our anti-armor unit out. Super valuable. We're not going to have replacements for that unless we hit like a military base, I would imagine. Uh, there is Chieftain 2 is moving in. And what happened to... What happened to... Barracuda 1. There you are. Barracuda 1, I'm going to give you orders to capture that building. Your M4 should work just fine for it. Breach and clear. Uh, it's hard to see. But another cool, like, weird level of detail, right? And that's kind of the thing. With There's an enemy vehicle back here we're going to have to deal with. Yeah. Uh, the kind of thing with this game is that you're co I'm constantly blown away by the levels of detail. Like, simulating ammunition, uh, experience, all that. Popping smoke, all those kind of abilities. Ranges feel very good for weapons. If I put my mouse over these weapons, you can see their ranges on the mini-map, right? And give you an idea of how far they can shoot. You can also see the little dotted line to give you an idea of how far they can shoot. You can use that to your advantage. Line of sight is a thing. But another part is, if you've played any RTS in the past, like, I don't know, 15 years, and you've been able to get into buildings, almost all the time, they have it set so one unit can get into a building. Or they have a number of slots. So you can get, like, this building can hold two squads. Let's see. This building, when I click it, it has 113 spaces for troops. And the crazy thing is those spaces are actually set up inside. So as you tell units to go into this strong building to hold the position, because it's a concrete building, you can actually see them. If we zoom in, and I wish I could get the camera just a little bit farther down, you can see the, uh, I think these are homunculi, right? So they're like really early T-series terminators inside. Nothing that we can't handle. They can take a better hit than we can. Our units are moving up. I've ordered the teams to sweep and clear that. I'm going to order our team to sweep and clear this. I don't know if that's a good idea. Our turret is firing away. And even the vehicle damage. Like, their turret, they're, they're, um, it's immobilized right now. So it probably popped a wheel. And I can order this unit, our light gun platform which somebody took a, a, a trailer, built a trailer, welded it together, slapped a cannon, an auto cannon on top of it, and then up armored it. So that's a weapon system. But I can order the crew to get out and repair it if I want to using this button right here, and it will use this supply. And they even have armor facings. So a certain armor will take damage. You might want to rotate the vehicle. Uh, we'll go ahead and pause, though. We'll let them open up. We put the game volume down a little bit. We need to clear them out quickly, though. And while we've got a moment, uh, I'm going to order our AGM squad, our ATGM squad, to put a missile right up the tailpipe of this platform carrier, which is, actually has a little bit of damage. Now, watch this thing go. I think I've got line of sight here. They're setting up. Missile is out. Locking. Missile's away. It has travel time. Super effective weapon system. Super expensive weapon system only for shots i have to keep it reloaded it does also have a minimum range if i put my mouse over you can see the red the minimum range on it but like how cool is that so we're gonna have to set them up to fire uh we've also got another enemy vehicle system over here i'm gonna have to move this way or i just move the abrams up you know let's let's put a 120 into this sucker a little bit closer almost in firing range i want this dead Put a round into him. We just moved into fire range. There's the shot. That's a good hit. All right, hold your position. Uh, AGM squad, I want you to move up. You, you've got a driver on board? 
Barracuda 1's reporting a squad member down. That sucks. So, Barracuda 1 needs fire support. Um, Ready to go, sir. I'm going to order them to get out and run. And then I'm going to order our... I'm just going to give the order right now. Sorry, guys. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Having you... I was wondering about this. Uh, the assaulting early, like, T-series is just not a good idea. It's just a not not a good idea. Even, even with a well-equipped squad, like Barracuda 1 even got an armor upgrade, and they're still getting wrecked. But I thought they could handle it because I was sweeping and clearing. There's a prison down here in the south which we'll get an objective eventually to sweep and clear if we want to. Uh, and they're prisoners. They don't they don't, they don't, don't really stand a chance, right? Their weapons are, are kind of crap. They're not military grade. I think they're like, like you know, at least the AR equivalent, maybe just pistols. And the and one squad was able to like sweep and clear multiples of these. Uh, and I thought they might be able to pull that off against the Terminators, but obviously not. So don't, don't assault them. Bring up the heavy weapons, which does make sense. Uh, looks like another convoy is coming up. Looks like our missile missed. Nothing the um, mother one can't handle for now. For now, your your team can stay on board. All right, we got two out of twelve taken care of, and we've just about swept and cleared this area. So I'm gonna send both my teams. Go ahead and take it. Alpha squad, this is Mount. Your squad's looking good. We need you to hold that road and stop those reinforcements. Rolling up with the Bradley. Once again, we've got we've got heavy walkers here. We've got Humunculi coming up. They can take a lot of damage. But we are using 50s for the most part in this force, so I feel like we're doing okay. Uh, AGM, go ahead and move up. Requesting your help to get that road back to the relocate. We can get through here and it's all Are you heavy or medium? You're a medium building? Then there'll be nowhere to hide in the whole of the American Southwest. Get the picture, Alpha 2. So, what's the plan? Support whatever's left of Alpha 1. They've been pushed out of that business center complex. You Who's take it this? back and hold it. Take and hold. Sniper. Got it. Okay. Alpha 2, we've taken the business center complex. Uh, Holding yeah. the position. Get in there. Good work, Change Chief Bush. Hold on. I'm requesting support for you. Mount this Alpha 2. Have control over the road, but need additional support. So, so we're getting a little bit of a briefing. Roger that, Alpha 2. Uh, we need we help with the road. We support in that area, but prioritizing artillery support for you. Nice. So what they've just said is they're going to bring up artillery for us. Alpha 2, this is Alpha 1. We can't take much more of this. Where's our support? Quit Alpha whining, Alpha 1. On the way. way. We've been holding on. You stand more chance with these finders than under your command. It's in support and Alpha 1. Team. I'll take Alpha 1 under my command, Alpha 2. Maybe oh. make real soldiers of them. You want these whiners? Fine by me. You want Alpha these whiners? Fine. <laughs> left over. Actually, get in that building. Mount Go ahead and get inside. Your incoming artillery support is coming under... So, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, what they just said was, Hey, command, you guys suck. We don't want anything to do with you. Um, I'd rather hook up with the founders. And we're in a position right now where I can't really complain. So, all of Alpha 1 from the movement, which is the militia group, right? So they're, yeah, I can understand that. They might switch sides, or, or not really switch sides, but sign on with a different organization. Um, they, they just signed on with us. So my infantry numbers, they're militia, mind you, um, just just went through the roof. Yeah, they just went through the roof. All right, let's um, get our logistics back here in this, like, parking lot area. And then I'm going to move these two squads back here to protect them. Uh, we'll even move a 50 on top of the back of the van. If you were wondering, though, so I just emptied this out. I put, took the sniper out of it because I had snipers had the ability to drive, which is not... Oh, that's another little weird detail about this. So if I click on um, any unit, uh, this light platform is currently empty, right? It's a gray box on the top. If I click on RPG any unit, here. we can see what their skills are. This group of RPG gunners can drive. They have the driving skill. Weirdly, I, I want to say it's even one of my, like, properly trained infantry squads. Yeah, infantry squad Barracuda 1, my assault group that lost a member, they don't have that. They can't drive any vehicles. Now, as they level up, I can choose to train them to drive, though I don't know if their unit gets it or not. Uh, we need a driver for this. So what I'm going to do is, I actually have a crew Driving right here. There. And they came Another from the last base. Go ahead and get in here. Whip. It's weird that they're a driving crew. They're literally called drivers, but they don't have a um how do I how do they put it? They don't have the, the, the tank crew. So if we go over to the Bradley, 
the Bradley requires a tank driving skill. Big Bob is currently driving this. And then we've got our, our Abrams over here, which also requires it. And that's fairly rare. You can get it by leveling people up. That's why you want to keep people alive. Another weird bit of, of, uh, of, of like, detail. It's kind of cool. Uh, we know the enemy's coming from the north, right? But all of the squads are facing south because that's just where they ended up. If I click this and I click the side I want them in, they will switch sides in the restaurant. There's also no, there's also no, um, that's kind of lame. So all they're gonna be able to do is like move over here. These guys are on the roof though, thankfully. So at least we've got some coverage there. Is this, it's just a medium building. So what if we put, RPG team here. Um, to yeah, position. RPG team come over here. And then you guys, so you're gonna have to send us some escorts like, to protect. Yeah, that's what I thought. We've got incoming, uh, probably we enemy scouts. Just like so yeah, we got enemy school. The, those were suicide uh, drones. Nowhere. Luckily, I had a team ready to go because I'm really worried about losing our two, um, our two trucks here. Speaking of which, they're in position now. I'm just gonna order both crews to get out because those are valuable fighters. Uh, what are you guys, what are you rocking right now? Oh. Oh. Never mind, Mac. Get in the truck again. Uh, you're a technician. Get back in the truck. Yeah. Oh, we got a new mission objective. So they just said that they'd bring us artillery support, right? And the movement is set up down in the south. And there's their arty support. Look at this thing. I love their style. They were just like, whatever we can get our hands on. Oh, we got a couple of artillery pieces. Let's slap wheels to them and just throw, tow them around with, with like Mack trucks. Uh, of, of which there's actually an empty one right here. Ooh. Okay, mental note. I didn't see that last time. I'm grabbing that. We got an extra drive crew. We can pick that up. And I already know because I played this mission before that in here... Alpha One left a carrier, an armored carrier. We can tow this. Ooh, there's also a fuel truck too. So whatever I feel like I need, I might just loot the fuel as well. So there's loot, there's battlefield loot. And when the mission ends, they let you explore and loot everything. And that, I don't know why I find that so satisfying, but I truly do. Uh, all right, so let's get them back in their vehicles. Um, Sharpshooter One, uh, let's put you in here. Uh, and I'm gonna send a scout vehicle down south to clear the way. Incoming transports. So the machines haven't figured out this way is closed at the moment. How are we doing on ammo? We got 120 heat left. We're gonna have to rearm. While we got a break, let's rearm. So to rearm, I'm bringing him back here. Uh, let's actually move you up a little bit more because I'm worried a stray round is gonna pass like the Humvee and hit this. So let's just like scoot up a little bit more. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna deploy our ammunition cargo carrier, which is gonna unfold and it's good to go. We have enemy contacts, hounds. So they're, they're these little like wolf pack units and they're robotic dogs with machine guns mounted to the top. That's horrifying. Luckily, we're pretty dug in. Uh, I feel like we're pretty dug in. We've got a lot of units here, like lay it down in the doorways and stuff. This is a medium building, medium building. All right. All right, that feels good. That feels good. What's going on over here on the right? We've got a technician, a van. I would feel better if the van was in the parking lot. So let's bring this over here. And technician. What do you need? Yeah, load up. Just load up. You don't need to be there. I'm gonna leave this 50 here. I'm a little worried that we might have enemies following us from the last mission. And so we'll keep somebody to keep some eyes on it. That way we can support it. Now our armor is in route. Watch our there. watch our heat rounds when we get in the get in the area here. There we go. The 50 is going up. The heat rounds are going to start going up slowly, and our ammunition stockpile is going to go down in this crate. How you guys doing up there? You all right? You're, you're okay. It's hounds. We got to keep an eye on these squads. They're going to keep getting getting harassed. We need to move quick though. We're 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 missing out on on solid. Uh, artillery support, honestly. Hey, Bradley, what you up to? How's your ammo? You're fine. 
Rockets are ready. Oh. Drivers reporting. So this vehicle is damaged. We need to do something about it, right? I, honestly, we don't really. It's not that damaged. We're not going to move it anyway, so I'm not worried about how much it can move around. But what we're going to do is we're going to hit that repair button. This repair. works for all vehicles. The crew will get out. Ready. So they're no longer um, they're no longer protected, but they're going to start using the onboard supplies to fix it. Now it's in the yellow, so if we were to move it, it would move slow. Let's move that van farther south. Make sure there's no enemies there, and we can green light the um, the friendly artillery to move north. Or hopefully without too much trouble. Because I I, I didn't send them much support. Oh. This is an interrogator heavy vehicle. This is one of the factions. And by one of the factions, I should show this. Let's go to Encyclopedia real quick. Uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six factions. Of which I haven't even seen much of the interrogators. We know what one of their tanks look like, because we can see the background. But apparently it's not like letting me know what they look like in this yet. I haven't unlocked their story. I didn't go to their territory. But movement forces, they get stuff like we're gonna get one of these in this mission. A bulldozer that can carry like super heavy stuff, like those big cannons. Uh the founders, which is us, so you can see a lot of our units. So we got engineers, Bradley's, like we've got proper military equipment that's been maintained. Uh, which has been kind of far and few between because not a lot made it out of our base. Look at that. We got, we have mobile artillery, self-propelled artillery, uh, but they're different. Here's the Legion unit so far. I haven't seen them all. The Rev-6 Terminators, T units. Ah, yeah, very cool. Very cool. They did not have to go this hard on a movie tie-in game. All right, we're moving south. Uh-oh, we got contact. We got not good, not good. All right, Cosmos Two has engaged multiple of the Wolf Pack units. I'm gonna just run for it. Let's get under the cover over here. Uh, our Recoilus is probably gonna get some rounds on target. Come on, run! We got damage. Like our loading system is damaged, and so is our our wheels. But the 50 is getting work done. Let's get over here. How you doing on ammo? You're fine. We're gonna eat a lot of ammunition. Where do you want us? Where do I want you? Hmm. Go Where's into this. Fire? Go into this armored carrier and check the ammunition inside. Oh yeah. Okay, so nice. We we've experimented with this before. Uh, this isn't an ammo carrier, like this one is. Because this one can deploy, and it's got you know you can see the cargo crates in there. This will this will load up armor. Um, and vehicles. This will reload vehicles, but and it'll reload infantry. These does something different. Infantry can go inside it. It's got a 24 slot for troops. That's a lot. And it will reload any infantry that go in. So I imagine inside this thing, like there's just racks of rifles and magazines and grenades and, you know, flashbangs and stuff. So they can go in and they can grab their equipment. How cool is that? Now, I don't have a troop transport for this, um, but this is a good way to keep everyone supplied. Speaking of supplies, let's go ahead and pause. Uh, we don't need They're to keep you in there. Oh, Let's get you out of there. Let's put you in the main building here for now. Okay, wait a minute. We got it. We got an enemy convoy coming in from a different direction. We got him coming in from the west. I need to prepare for that. Where's this road lead? Following the road. Assuming they follow the road. It goes through here. And they're not going to go through interrogator territory. Most like integrator territory, which is in here. I know that because we've played this mission before. So let's go ahead and pause. Uh, actually, we need to move our response to this problem south. I'll move some armor south. We've got our 50 south. I don't want them to kill that artillery that's already on its way up. There's the friendly forces. They're coming up to support us. And we could desperately use that that support. So the, our, our armor is going to move in. Um... I feel like I need to move an infantry squad. We're all yours. You know what? Oh, you're using 556. Five, I don't I don't know if you're gonna be able to do it. Here's what we'll do. We'll move um Reporting. We'll move this infantry squad to support the south. Everyone get in the here. van. The van will transport you. And we'll move a um We'll move a single ah, I'd love to move a single Every RPG support. unit. ATGM squad reporting. ATGM squad. Where's my only ATGM squad? Up here. Where's my other one? Reporting. 
probably drive in a vehicle right now. Not good. On our feet. You're also in the wrong building. Get in this building. I want you on this on this rooftop. All right. We're loud enough to move out. Have new intel for you. Go ahead, Mount. How much you bet? No, 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 no! Don't do that! Don't deploy! This is the fuel truck. We don't need the fuel truck. Get out of the vehicle. You've got a 50. I just want to see who's driving your vehicle. What do we do? Ah, okay, you're engineers. All right, you can get back in. Uh, you RPG squad, you can get back in for now. You're fine. To the west of your current position. That'll give you cover to intercept the convoys on the new route. All right, our artillery is still moving up. Wonderful. Let's move. Ooh, you're damaged. Go ahead and start repairs. And are you in the van yet? They're in the van. Which is also damaged. I need to repair you too. Uh, let's get over there and support the armor. You take it. We'll try to reinforce you with whatever reserves we've got. On the move. You can handle that alpha too. Get off my back, Mount. We'll get it done. Stationary emplacement deployed. Hey! Welcome to the fight. Another heavy artillery piece in place. And now we don't have control over these. They literally just joined us and they've deployed them up. But they're going to fire for us. They see an enemy target. Or we see an enemy target. We'll give them coordinates just by getting them out of the fog of war. And uh, we will wreck. We will wreck face. Our job, though, is to stop this enemy convoy from causing us trouble. So I'm trying to get in the way. Our Abrams is here. Oh, man. There was an upgrade in that store we were at that I could have picked up. Here comes that convoy. Uh, that I could have picked up. Let's go ahead and empty you out. Join us, get in the tree line. Oh, no, 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 no. And now get out of there, because you're just a transporter. You're not going to be able to do anything. Whereas you, with a 50, uh, you should be able to support us. So, once again, weirdly detailed for this game, and I'm so here for it. We know we've got an enemy coming. We want to set up for an ambush. So let's go ahead and spread out. Voice this direction. Actually, let's switch our formation to wide line. I don't know why we're running this way to do it. And then set up here. And leg the prone. Now, there are a couple of mechanics here that are quite cool. One, we're going to take less damage. Depending on the terrain type. They tell you this in the tutorial. So if you do this on, like, concrete... You're not gonna you're not gonna get as much like defense as if you were in in like a, a grassy area also there's a stat bar right here which is your stealth you can order a unit to not fire and they're it, depending on what their stealth is this is a big uh, infantry unit so it might be a little slow oh you know what the problem is that there's an Anyone infantry the unit just like separated. we're not movement but we're friendly who yeah. are you let's move up a little bit more and now they got so me. one of the things that I could have done. Uh oh, that's our pilot. Corners. We have your coordinates. Don't panic, Vulture. We're on the way. We'll come get you. Oh, here he is right here. So those bonus objectives that I was talking about, like there's the pilot. He's he's he crashed right when he got shot down. We gotta go get him. Uh, chances are we know that there's been enemy forces coming out of the fog of war on this side. So I don't want to send him with something that's not gonna be able to defend him. But I want to send him something that's quick. Let's send our 40 millimeter grenade launcher, because we just upgraded this, Humvee. Uh, Going. And we'll send them to go get him. Yes, some support. Appreciate it, T-Force. We're stretched in here. We'll All right, they did stick with the road. There. You come in and flank them once we know where they but are. Yeah, there was an armor upgrade for our for our vehicles we could have picked up. It was makeshift armor, so it was like, you know, putting barrels and, uh, and sandbags and stuff. Fire. The Y has wiped out these civilian militia units, and we're going to be next. Dust Devil. Enemies ahead. Enemy coming up. Hey, how you doing? Ready for you. Ambush. Whoa, incoming around. So that's not good. That. Oh, no. We may have to run. Uh, and you don't have any kind of anti-vehicle weapon system. We didn't bring... Hey, run north right now and go get an anti-vehicle weapon. Um, I don't know if I can win this. That's, that's a hit. We're badly damaged. We've barely done any damage to them. Not good. 
Come on, hurry! Uh, do I run? Do I run? We'll get you, then evac you back to mount. Fire, fire, You're in good fire, hands fire. here, Vulture. Coming. Remembers down. We've lost a. We've lost one of. Oh no, that's gonna slow us down even far. Run. Run, run, outmaneuver him. We move faster than it turns. We move faster than it turns. I didn't know this. Give me a shot. Give me a shot. He's fire. 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 He did fire. Bruce, Bruce. Oh, no, the vehicle's damaged and it's on fire. Not good. And I don't have I don't have a weapon system over here to give them a hand. We've also got infantry pushing up. So their armor is actually better than ours. Um, that's not good. I should have brought a, a missile team down there much faster than I did. Uh, crap. Where is our nearest, uh, the, our team? We got an RPG team, RPG that'll have to do. Uh, load up. You don't fit, but you will fit in here, let's go. I need you. How bad is it? How bad is it? Well, the light vehicle that we had down here has just gotten totally smoked. Uh, I'm gonna pop smoke, actually. Oops, wrong button. Pop smoke, right here. Here. Your team, your team needs to get on down. The move. On the move. Artillery's landing. A little inaccurate, but it's landing. Where's our RPG team? You're here. Get, get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. And then our um, we we have a recoilless like light vehicle. I'm ordering it to engage. Man, that's gonna. I I gotta get that fire get out. out Hopefully that fire just goes out and doesn't just detonate the vehicle. Anything good for us? Got another round coming Ready. in. You did pop your smoke. Pop more smoke. Smoke. Where's your smoke? Yeah, where do you want? Protect, protect the whole group. Relocating. And where's that light vehicle? Position secured. They're on their way. They're on their way. And we're here. And he should be in firing range really quickly because he's moving so fast. Can't let that get through. We cannot let that vehicle get through. Uh, where is that van? He should have been here by now. He's right. Yeah, he's right. Mm, yes, he's right here. I don't know if he's gonna have the firepower necessary. And it will be here. a rear shot. So maybe. What even sucks even more is that friendly forces are pushing up to take on the Legion base that they've got in this old set of buildings in the corner here. He's outrunning us. He's outrunning us. He's outrunning us. I don't think I outrange him. Our ally is like chasing him down. Fire. He hit. He hit. Good for him. Fire. Man, we are doing nothing. One more shot, one more shot, one more shot. He missed, fire. Got it. All right, they're not gonna reinforce Albuquerque. Wonderful. So that is our entire mission objective is to stop them from doing that. Uh, we did manage to slow them down. Let's head back, head back up because we need to stop the enemy from pushing. Here. And let's bring the RPGs down here. Can we fix the Got Abrams? It. That is like Target priority number one. The fire is out. What's the situation, Alpha 2? <gasps> oh, oh, and we can rescue the pilot. Take us out of here. Alpha 2 responding. Currently combat ineffective. You're now under the command of Lieutenant Alex Church. Get that. Out of the way. Understood. Lieutenant Alpha, Alpha, Alpha 3 is ready for your order. Acknowledged. Good to have you with us, Alpha Move 3. It. Alpha 3 has just joined us. So that sounds like they just got absolutely wrecked. Um, they've given us command of what looks like two light technicals uh, with 40 millimeter grenade launcher, a heat M20, and then what over here <laughs> is a bulldozer with a giant turret. Let's go. Delivered. I'm out of here. Now, thankfully, we're we are gonna help them with this attack. Uh, yeah, they need help. They didn't bring enough support and they're kind of getting chewed to pieces. So I'm gonna move this entire force over here, except Bazooka One, that's his call sign. I'm gonna move you up here to stop the enemy. Let's move. Oops. 
Okay, you got your orders. Keep on moving. Where is our light vehicles? You two? Come over here and help their push. One of the dumb things that they've done is that they're, they didn't bring anything that can outrange the Terminators on this side, and that's kind of how you beat them, is either by flank and spank, by uh, ambush tactics really work well, but moving in that close, as we've seen when I try to do my assault up here, it kind of gets rough. So, where's the pilot? Oh, the pilot's here in the Humvee. And the rare, the place that we have to take the pilot is all the way south. Let's get him off map. So, Humvee. On the move, sir. Enemy here's our drop site for you. That is a slow transport. But an armored one. All right, our forces have arrived. We've got a new convoy coming in. And how goes the work on the Abrams? So I, I love, I, I, could, I could focus on one element. I could ignore everything in gray, by the way, is a bonus objective. I could ignore all of this and just focus on destroying Legion convoys. That would be fine. Um, but I want to do these other missions because the more I help them, the more goodwill I gain, the more supplies I can buy to move around the map. Uh, all right, pilots on the way south. We were we were checking up on our, on our armor because our Abrams was badly damaged. Uh, still damaged. Machines are trying to get another Go ahead and continue to repair. So get them out. We want to get the weapon, the turrets damaged. We got a machine push happening. I wish I had some engineers with mines right now. Because we could, like, really prepare for the incoming. Let's help them. We have the weapons for this. Let's keep, like, shelling them. And I will, I can get your ammo back up if necessary. Uh, how goes that heavy turret? That heavy turret's in the way. Uh, you guys have almost repaired the tank. And our AGM. Oh, no. Now they're showing up with, like, weapon platforms on the back there. That's going to be a problem. Our poor, um... Our poor team up here. I want you to prioritize the turret target. And I want you, if I hit R and give an order, it will back up. There's that missile. He's deploying. Yeah, don't, don't get near them. I'll arrange them. The squad's doing great. Oh, there's the artillery support. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. All right, let's focus on the attack in the south because they're, their units are moving forward, but they don't have the, yeah, they don't have the proper support for it. So we'll, we'll flank around the back here. We got him. We got him. Now, your fly boy vulture. He's at the point. Got him. Sweet. So the flyboy has made it. I've ordered the Humvee to support this attack, so he's going to get over here. We've got a walker. Okay, I have a plan here, and that plan is to just kind of pop out and then slap. Now run. 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 You guys don't have the armor to deal with that. So what I didn't bring over was one of those like long barrels and I probably should. Hey! You want something blown up? Abrams! What do you need? There's just no good way place to ambush them over here. I mean I might be able to do so better down south, but if I bring the Abrams in, it makes short work of those walkers. I think we just might do that. You got a 50 as well? Alright. Go ahead and drop the Let's turret move. off here. Move over here. I love that our ally is just moving supplies. You guys are pretty much set. Stick here with the turret. Back it up. Leave the RPG unit here as well. Uh, actually, leave the RPG unit, like, over here. Maybe I can stealth them under the hill, so when the enemy comes out of the fog of war, we slap them with a, with a close-range RPG. And with that being done, your two teams can press 
into, I think this is an old prison, into here. You got it. And we can help support this push and wipe them out. Enemies ahead. Where are you going? Got trouble. How are we doing back there? Oh, no, 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 no. Once again, uh, we, we popped out. We shouldn't have. So Going. back up. This is integrator territory. Uh-oh. We did not invite you here. Our Abrams we got do not want to trade the with integrators. You. We offer no guarantee of your safety here. We're just here to talk. Interesting. You realize you're surrounded by, like, then we have an Terminators, offer right? Okay. I'm listening. We believe there is a valuable tank defense system located somewhere near a survivor base in the prison. We want you to obtain it for us. You couldn't trade them for it? These are convicts. Criminals. They are not trustworthy people to strike deals with. If you obtain it for us, bring it here. Now go. We're gonna pause. Uh, that sounds like here? Yeah, so here's the prison. And that's that goodwill resource, right? And I would be able to trade with Warning. them. You have Roger. I don't, I'm aware. I'm trying to pull out of that area right now. Literally, the armor is moving. Um, I'm going to have to fight this. Oh, we got it. We got it. Yes. All right, cool. So, cool thing about 40 millimeter, even though the ammo burns for it pretty quickly, uh, it can go over walls, so you can indirect fire that stuff. So, you can kill an enemy without it ever knowing you're there, as long as another friendly can see it. Warning. You have entered into greater territory. Okay. All right, I'm looking. What's going on? One of the issues you'll find on this map. I don't know why you guys are. Oh, I do. You're the rest of that infantry squad that's been crawling this entire way. Uh, there's a road right here, and your forces will always want to use a road because it's faster. So you'll find them constantly being like, you've entered into greater territory, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and yeah, they get grumpy with you. So I don't know. What are you going to do? Keep firing, 40s, and you two, go ahead and start repairs. Do not get too close so they can fire back. Oh boy, fire that, fire that. Thump, 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 thump. Didn't kill a damn thing. Ooh, we're taking hits, we're taking hits. Our, our left armor is kind of busted, so let's just rotate, it'll be that way. No, we're not killing anything here. Can we get some, um... I don't want to lose my Humvee. Humvees have the ability to tow. Okay, we got that unit, I think. Yeah, we got that unit down. Hey, armor! Where are you at? Move here. There you go. You got your 50 in the way. That guy's got a rocket, so let's hopefully kill him before he has a chance to use it. Of course, the guy with the rocket is still the last member left. Let's get another 50 up. Maybe we can shield the tank a little bit with a cheaper vehicle. I love the ranges. Like, it feels... That feels good, getting a 50 in position to, to just thump away. Uh, hey, Humvee, how you doing? Yeah, you're pretty messed up. Why don't you guys get out and start, like, welding... Welding those plates back on, repair the engine. Uh, what's going on in the south? I got, I got two more units in the south. I got a sniper, sharpshooters awaiting order, and uh, a fifty a gunner crew. Also, there's a supply trailer down here. Sharpshooter team. Okay. Hmm. What to do with you guys? I think I'm gonna move you up to the ambush position. We're going. Also, you fellas, get down. Get back in the nest, but raring to get back into action. And don't we fire. Have air support for you All people. right. If I'm you can knock out the machine, the AA and spread down. out. The AA guns on it. Position. We're knocking out AA guns now. RPG team. I don't know if ready. that's going to work with the RPG team. We'll see. Uh, I'm also going to spread you guys out in your line formation. That's why they wouldn't get in a line formation before. It's because the squad was split. We still have enemy contact down here. Reporting. Ah, and that would be why. And we... Okay, where's the Abrams? <laughs> where's the anti... Your vehicles are dumb. I'm going to blow it up. Moving there. You got it. Uh, we don't want to fight that convoy solo. So let's actually wait. Turn around. 
And what we're going to do... Actually, let's run. Here, let's move. Moving now. The reason we're running is because there's probably another heavy tank in that group, I bet. And we want to hit him from behind. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to get him down the road. Their tanks are better than ours. Even on medium difficulty. Which I... I'm taking, I think, 40% less damage than you would normally take on a realistic. <laughs> That's how strong those tanks are. They're really scary. Uh, but we'll try to plan the ambush here. You guys get down. Got one in our sights. Four of them. You, want something blown up? you guys turn around. Vehicle ready. Deploy. Envoy should be passing now. Do not fire. We're gonna wait until they're engaged. Hopefully they don't see this squad either. Their stealth is maxed right now, so we should be okay. RPGs don't have great range or accuracy, so we wanna get as close as we can, I think. We should be seeing them in a second. Here they are right here. That's not too bad. Enemy dislodged from the prison complex. Oh, we took it! Hey, friendly forces! There's like one squad remaining over here. They managed to take it. Good on them. Good on them. Um, that enemy vehicle is actually on the move. Probably moving to intercept us, I bet. Tell us what you need. I don't really want to fight it, so let's, let's fall move. back. Move. Your people in Alpha did a fine job, Mountain. All right, we're about to engage the ambush. Artillery units and we'll make this ambush the the end of the video <laughs> here because I still have another like 30 minutes minimum. Wait, I want them to be in range of Enemy's the new there. turret that we've got. Place is All right, we've engaged. Uh, it looks like my 50 still opened up. I don't know why he opened up. He wasn't supposed to. But I'm going to put him on fire. Engage. And rocket I'm going to tell squad. them, you may now engage, rocket squad. There's the rocket. RPG is away. Ooh, what is he cat packing? He's packing missile tubes. And he's lobbing them at an infantry squad who's got good cover. How's your weapon? He's not in range yet. Main cannon, fire. Good hit. You're clear to fire the big gun. RPG team, main cannon fired. This squad's 556 should be able to cover them. Let's boogie. Snipers, Let's take this team out, and then we need to backtrack. We need to backtrack with this. But yeah, that gives you a basic idea of what's going on with it. I'm going to be playing more of this. There's their armor back there. They're actually retaking this. I'm going to be playing a lot more of this. Now I know we can rename units too. I think a full campaign in this for like a community campaign would be a blast because the units survive and they upgrade. But again, if you want to check this out, there is a link in the description. You can click. Uh, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later, everybody. Not a problem. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, <laughs> oh, unnecessary major round from the cannon. <laughs> We're taking that home with us.